Hey everybody, Mona Weezum here. It has been a uh, really good day, a uh, very long day. Uh, still trying to keep my voice. Uh, I was around some secondhand smoke, unfortunately. Won't go into how much I despise that, but I will go into everything you see here. Uh, one of the things people really seem to like is kind of, you know, collections, which I promise I will do the Giants one. Uh, like I said, now that, you know, this weekend has passed, uh, things should slow down for me, uh, particularly by this coming weekend. I'll kind of have a lot of stuff done I need to catch up on. Uh, only problem here on my end is the internet. The internet is crawling. Uh, I'm having trouble opening Gmail. If that tells you anything, uh, you probably know that the speed is basically non-existent. Uh, that's about as basic as it can get, uh, particularly compared to all the upgrades uh, other you know, mail servers have been doing. But uh, this is kind of essentially what you could call my launch day haul. Uh, I'm going to walk you through it. I had recorded this on my iPad, and then I kind of realized that uh, I had my hand over the microphone for some parts of it. A little longer than I wanted it to be, too, as well, so I'm going to try to breeze through here a little quicker. Uh, first thing, I had planned to upload all the unboxings in HD. Uh, currently, the way things are going, I'm going to change my course of plans, uh, starting with the uh, three I've been editing right now. But uh, just going to go ahead and walk you through it. We'll start left to right, just like a book. Back corner, Nintendo 3DS Starter Pack. Uh, Pre-ordered this one way back in the day. I just put $5 down because I was still thinking there might have been some chance that, you know, Walmart, a different retailer, might have something in addition, you know, to the uh, volcanic eruptor. But uh, as it turned out, that didn't happen, so I just went ahead and paid it off today. Uh, Fiery Forge Battle Pack. Picked that up at Toys R Us. Again, things have been extremely busy on my end. Uh, Toys R Us has a deal. The catch is you have to be a Rewards R Us member. I am. Uh, it's one of those things that's a cool deal. You can't always use the points on what you would want to use them on. Uh, that said, something that you can use them on is some of Power A's accessories, which are going to be hitting the shelves pretty soon. So uh, that's kind of a saving grace for all of us uh, Skylander fans out there. Uh, it's just one of those deals that unless you use it on like electronics, video games, etc. Uh, but what they did, Rewards R Us members spend over a hundred dollars, which isn't hard to do at Toys R Us. Uh, you can uh, get a special edition Gil Grunt. Uh, what that is, it's basically going to be uh, what we were told earlier uh, was like an employee exclusive type deal. So that's going to be pretty sweet. Uh, they told me my local store, I'm number 10 on the list. Uh, they just had me literally write my name and number down. Said they should have it tomorrow, which is now today, which is uh, Monday, uh, the 14th of October. So if that happens, I will be driving up there immediately, uh, if at all possible, and uh, pick that up. But uh, keep that in mind. If you some reason didn't go out today or something, you're doing it during the work week or something, they also have buy one, get one 40% off, which their prices are a little higher, which I'm kind of hard on them for. To my credit, I do give them credit for having some of the best sales in the industry, which is why so many times when you see me do unboxings, I'll tell you I got it from Toys R Us with the buy one, get one 40%, yada yada. Uh, that said, Flashwing and Starstrike Lightcore. Got both of those at Target. Uh, was in there first. Reason for that, this was my number one concern, Nitro Magna Charge. Toys R Us, I knew they would have a crud ton of the legendaries. Wasn't too concerned about Walmart. They tend to have a lot of their in-game variants. My local Target, I realize some people's Target probably has a huge stock and never an issue, particularly at launch. But uh, last year I went in there before noon. I got the last two Granite Crushers and my store never had Granite Crusher again. Uh, so I was a little paranoid about that one. It was the one that concerned me the most. Uh, there were two uh, mag Nitro Magna Charge Rattle Shakes left when I got this one. And then there were, uh, I guess, one. Uh, there were two originally and then three with the Free Ranger set up. So uh, I've heard other people tell me their target had a ton of stock. Again, it probably depends on the store size, uh, volume, inventory, management, pretty much all kinds of variables. Uh, coming over. Series 3 Lava Barf Eruptor, Series 3 Mega Ram Spiral, those were sent out by Activision. Some of these are open, I think I've done a pretty good job of tucking them back in. Uh, that said, down here, Swap Force characters, Rattleshake and Free Ranger sent out by Activision. Uh, on that note, let's just go over here. 
<laughs> a magnet charge regular sent out by Activision. Uh, Hoot Loop. I picked that up again. That is not the one I unboxed. It got torn up pretty bad, which you can't see that video because it's been uploading for almost 24 hours. I assume it'll get live at some point. Um, that said, I'll, I'll cover that here in a second. Uh, coming up top, Wii U Dark Edition Starter Pack. Told everyone when this hit pre-order, a lot of people griped, I don't like dark, yada yada. Uh, you're probably regretting it now, they're very hard to come by. Uh, being that it is a special edition starter pack, good chance it could come back into stock, they'll get another shipment, you know, maybe multiple times even. Or it could be something truly limited and maybe they'll get like a Wave 2 special or something. But uh, I thought it was a cool deal. I'm stoked about it. <laughs> and uh, there it is. So uh, there's going to be a lot of cool stuff in there to cover as well. Top of that, Skylander uh, Adventure Club. Going to be a big deal. Again, I'll cover that with the uh, GameStop pickups. Of course, the two light core hexes came from the Dark Edition and the uh, 3DS pre-orders that I made. Coming down, uh, we have Lightcore Grim Creeper on top of the Collector's Edition Strategy Guide. I picked that up from GameStop. The reason I did that, I went into Barnes & Noble with my 20% off. Long story short, they did not have it. and uh, They also offered to order it in for $15 more than was the price on their website. So, uh, GameStop had a deal. I think I got it 20% off which their price was higher initially than Barnes & Noble, but uh, GameStop's taking good care of me. I like the employees, so, you know, I don't, I don't mind spending a little extra there. Lightcore Grim Creeper on both sides of the strategy guide. reason I do that, number one, I actually like the legendaries. I like to keep one sealed. Uh, usually pick two of them up at launch, one for myself, one for my nephew. In the event that he doesn't get into the character, I've already got my sealed copy. Uh, same thing there with a uh, legendary Free Ranger. If you note, we'll come down here to Free Ranger. Got his slogan there, whip up a storm. See the translation. Enchanted Hoot Loop was a complete pain. I'm going to unbox him next. I'll cover it there to keep this one a little shorter. Uh, has nothing to do with the character of Skyliners. It has to do with Walmart. And for those of you that say, hey, didn't you foreshadow that Walmart would be a pain? I did, and I was correct. So, uh, all I'll say here is hopefully no one else had to go through what I did to get this guy. Uh, that said, note, let's ruffle some feathers, and then you've got the translation there. We'll just come over here, uh, Magna Charge sent out by Activision, same with Roller Brawl. This Hoot Loop, uh, I've already unboxed it again, the packaging kind of got torn up. I bought this one today. Why did I do that? His slogan, Whip Up a Storm not correct it's just a simple factory misprint if you're a hardcore collector you might want to pick one of these up and then of course the corrected version on subsequent releases but uh, it should be let's ruffle some feathers which they got right on the enchanted hoot loop coming back over here the crazy thing uh, it's actually the translation is correct on this regular hoot loop and it matches, of course, with Enchanted Hoot Loop. My nephew at GameStop was actually one that told me uh, that the translations were correct. So, for an 8-year-old, pretty dadgum sharp. Uh, coming to the back, we've got the Wii U starter pack. Didn't take the time to put the characters back in there, but again, Activision sent that one out. Lightcore Smolder Dash, Lightcore Tornado. Stoked to see what he's going to look like. Smolder Dash, if I had to pick two characters that were the hardest to come by, I'd say Lightcore Hex and Smolder Dash. Lightcore Hex I'll kind of leave out since she's technically Giants. Smolder Dash, really, really hard to find. Uh, I don't know if it has to do with the quantities of Lightcores they released, or if people just think she's the greatest thing ever. Uh, but I, she was non-existent at Target. Uh, Walmart didn't have her either. That's another story, though. Uh, Toys R Us, luckily I found a few of them, but she was by far uh, the most limited. Regular Lightcore Grim Creeper, I'd say, is probably next up on that. But, uh, Series 2 Super, Super Gold Pop Fizz, Series 2 Blizzard Chill sent out by Activision. Uh, Slobbertooth Countdown Zulu and Roller Brawl, again, all sent out by Activision. And then lastly, got the Tower of Time, picked it up at Toys R Us. 
Number one, they had the best sale. Number two, they had the unexpected incentive of getting that special guild run. So hopefully that comes out tomorrow. If it does, I'm running up there. I'll get that. Well, it'll be a priority to unbox. I'll do it immediately. <laughs> and, uh, then it just becomes a question of if I can actually upload it to share with all of you. So keep your fingers crossed that they get the internet going. Uh, that said, this is basically... Uh, my launch day haul. Uh, again, big thanks to Activision for sending some of this out. Uh, very much appreciated. Uh, kind of let me kind of get a head start, which would be really great if not for the internet. Uh, but that said, for those of you that haven't gotten the game or didn't get to spend much time with it or just got 3DS, not console, or console, not 3DS, it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to come in here probably do the dark edition uh, then the 3ds starter pack namely I want to go check out the 3ds version to kind of see what it's got going on but uh, like I say I know people like to see collections launch day hauls etc the Giants collection is coming got a ton of cool stuff playing there again this past weekend couple of weeks leading up to it I've been extremely busy it's actually the busiest I am all through the year uh, not making it up things will slow down for me probably within seven to ten days and I can focus most of my free time on Skylander Swap Force so uh, that said I'll give you one last look at it here again uh, if you had a good time if you got a pretty good launch day haul if you kinda had to pick and choose uh, budget things feel free to post up whatever you did I know a lot of people some of you just get the console version play it then go in later for the 3DS. Some people, I actually know, uh, do that with the 3DS version and get the console version later on. Uh, the logic there is usually, you know, they want more characters to begin with or something. That said, that is a lot of characters uh, for a launch. And you have to remember, all the previous characters are forward compatible. So everything you have from Skylanders Giants and SSA, you can play in Skyliner Swap Force. So if some of you are on a budget and you're bummed out, maybe you just got you know like an extra swap force, a light core, and uh I don't know, maybe like an adventure pack or something. Fear not, you can actually come back in and use all of your existing Skyliners. That's something I think a lot of people kind of take for granted there. But again, I'm pretty happy with it. Things went very smooth with the exception of Walmart. I will chronicle that one here for you shortly. But uh like I said, take that blog link at the top. Let me know what you did. Feel free to comment on YouTube. If you got pictures of your collections, uh, go ahead and feel free to share those with me. Uh, Twitter, Facebook, Google+, the blog. Uh, blog is preferred. Twitter's the easiest. That said, whatever works for you. But uh, This is basically going to keep me entertained for a long, long time. I did pick up Pokemon Y today, so I'll kind of get to play that some. That said... Uh, again, I put the priority here on Swap Force, so uh, I'll look forward to Pokemon kind of when things slow down here. But uh, as you can see, that's not going to be anytime soon. That said, uh, Toys R Us, I feel like, has the best deals going right now. If you're not a Rewards R Us member, sign up ASAP and spend $100. Uh, that'll make your life really easy uh, if you want that uh, special guild hunt. But... Uh, I'm going to have a lot of fun with this. I hope everyone enjoys the unboxings and the gameplay that's coming. And like I said, you know, let me know what you did on launch day. Uh, you know, if your Walmart was as bad as mine, feel free to vent. I definitely feel it for you. I'll chronicle my story here with Enchanted Hoot Loop for you. But uh, like I said, this is going to be a ton of fun. Uh, do have to spend some money. But when you think about the amount of time and the entertainment value you actually get out of all this... Uh, it's actually a pretty dadgum good deal, at least in my opinion. <laughs> so, I've got my work cut out for me here with unboxings and whatnot. Going to be a ton of fun. Uh, that's one of my favorite parts is actually getting the characters in hand, uh, going over all the details for you. And uh, kind of kind of interested in that collector's edition uh, strategy guide there. So, But we're going to check all this out again. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. That'll keep you up with all the latest uh, if I sound bad, it's because I'm still fighting losing my voice uh, between the secondhand smoke and allergies. Uh, not the ideal circumstances, but uh, once again, thank you. Uh, make sure to subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, circle me on Google+, whichever you prefer. 
And again, I will be seeing you back on the pool table probably for a really long time. But I uh, think it'll be fun. Again, the plan is to get started here with GameStop exclusive Dark Edition Starter Pack.